When King Robert Baratheon arrives at Winterfell, he immediately goes with Lord Eddard Stark to see Lyanna Stark's grave in the crypts beneath the castle. Robert tells Eddard that he kills Rhaegar every night in his dreams. Eddard tries to assure Robert that he already killed Rhaegar, but Robert laments that he could only kill him once. Looking nervous, Eddard tells Robert that the Targaryens are dead now, but Robert points out not all of them are, implying he will keep hunting down the younger Targaryen children until their family is totally eradicated. Robert also mentions Rhaegar when arguing with Ned over the morality of having Daenerys assassinated. When Ned decries that killing a pregnant young girl would be a dishonorable crime, Robert angrily retorts that after what Daenerys's brother Rhaegar did to Ned's sister Lyanna, Ned shouldn't be defending them. When Daenerys successfully consumes a stallion's heart and the Dosh Kaleen declare her unborn son to be the stallion who mounts the world, Daenerys declares that he will be named Rhaegar in honor of her brother. When Jon Snow hears about his father, Eddard Stark's imprisonment and faces the conflict between love for his family and duty to the Night's Watch, Maester Aemon recounts his own struggle with the same conflict. He reveals his identity, that he is Aemon Targaryen. Maester Aemon remembers that the gods tested him when his great-nephew Rhaegar and his children were killed, who, unbeknownst to Maester Aemon and Jon, were Jon's blood father and half-siblings. When Bran Stark shows Osha the tombs under Winterfell, he gives a quick summary of the events leading to the Civil War, how Rhaegar kidnapped Lyanna, who was betrothed to Robert Baratheon, and the Mad King then killed Lyanna's brother and father, triggering the war. Robert killed Rhaegar in battle, but Lyanna died anyway.